that he needs to focus fire on the siege tanks though. If the siege tanks goes down, I think it's gonna be really bad. Jadong's really in a good position here. Got has all of his units under that swarm. Although those siege tanks are doing a, quite a bit of damage. That scourge is able to pick up the science vessel. And that's huge. And I think that's two science vessels that went down. He only has two more left, and he had to lift up his science facility. Jadong picking up the ten o'clock base, and. What happened there? Looks like it was killing a Zergling, maybe? And those barracks are under fire. If he loses those barracks, this is going to be really bad for him. Flash is able to pick off that base, though. So the top left base and the 10 o'clock base are down. And so Jadong is at, looks like, three bases? Three bases? It looks like he has that, uh, the, yeah, that, like, 830 base. He's trying to put some Zerglings there to try to defend it. Probably going to be able to defend this. Yeah, is able to defend this really well. So that base is going to stay up, although it's not saturated very much at all. And a lot of forces for Flash, although he can't do a lot because Jadong is dropping right inside of his base. Drops are going to pick up some more forces. Excuse me. Uh, probably to do some more harass. Decent saturation. I think Jadong's at like four or five hatcheries now and trying to rebuild missile turrets flashes I don't know I think pretty much even with Jadong right now a marine it might be able to pick off that Trump there it looks like those lurkers are gonna have to upburrow and move back and retreat this huge mech you know just huge mass of tanks really are just going through those tanks are gonna be really effective against the units under storm since they do do splash damage it looks like a radiate going off under the filer maybe on oh, no, on the lurkers and a ton of a radiate going down on the lurkers those lurkers are gonna go down really fast like, wow when I was casting that I just spit all over my keyword that's not cool yuck but anyways that overlord's gonna get picked off in a looks like flash is gonna move out here and where's the army of Jadong I don't see Chidong having any armory flash picking up that top right base there, which is really smart. That's what, always what you want to do. Attack and expand. Key to StarCraft. Looks like Flash is going to set up a siege line right on that ridge there. Has the high ground. Very good for him. Marine's coming in here. Jadong's going to have to retreat. Already going down on Zergling. He's just going to waste that. Eye. Oh, no. It was on the Defiler. I was going to say, it's a little bit of a waste of a uh, irradiating Flash. But anyways... Those siege tanks doing a little bit of sniping on the top of that ridge there. Looks like uh, some swarms going down, although not really too effective because Flash can just evacuate his forces from that area until that swarm goes off. He is going to be able to defend the siege tanks from this point of view too, which is really good. Sorry about that, I just hit the mic. I don't know if you guys heard that, but he is. Looks like he is going to be able to take out this base. <laughs> a little bit of splash damage on his own units, though, from that drone. Good drone, drone bomb. I guess not really a drone bomb, like a suicide drone. I don't even know what you would call that. But anyways, more swarms going down. A ton of swarms. I don't know how many defilers he has, but he, he does have a lot of swarm. And Flash is going to have to retreat for the time being. He needs to pick off those scourge, though. Those scourge are going to... Oh, and the Skurs always all get picked off before they can hit the science vessel. And Jadong in a lot of trouble here. He does lose that 830 base, so now he's only mining at two bases, I think. And Flash is even with him. He is picking up the top right base. I don't know if that's done yet. And that 9 o'clock base is going to go down, maybe 930. But Flash is going to be able to saturate his base really quickly, a lot more quickly than the Zerg, obviously. And this is really bad. Those Skurs killing off those sci that science vessel, so good clone there. Two more science vessels in that mix, though, so a little less irradiate, but still detection is going to be there. And those forces running away from <laughs> four, uh, four marines and a medic, maybe they knew that the reinforcements were coming. And Jadong in a lot of trouble here. He's stemming all of his forces going in and attacking. He is going to be able to take out this defense, probably going to be able to take out the Nidus Canal, as well as that sunken colony, and this is really bad. He's able to kill the Scourge off before they hit even one science vessel, and you can see it on Jadong's face. He knows that he's in a ton of trouble. And that sunken colony goes down. Four more sunken colonies. If he can kill off those four sunken colonies, especially if he can kill off that Defiler, this is going to be really bad for Jadong. Jadong needs to keep that Defiler alive, doing some consume there. That's the word I was thinking of earlier, consume. He's doing some consume there had to lift off that base probably because that overlord scouted it and uh, maybe has some zerglings in it or something that lurker not quite dead taking a hit from that 
uh, siege tank. Some drones getting caught out in the middle here. The marine stimming up and <laughs> he's gonna do some attack on, on that hatchery. Uh, it looks like uh, it looks like they were rallied somewhere else. So, uh, but all three. Oh nope, just two of them killed by them. Oh, and it looks like what is Jadong doing with that? That drone. But it looks like all three of those drones got killed off by that one marine, and more forces going into those overlords. And those overlords need to move out now. We'll get plague going on off of looks like two of the science vessels. So not so good of a plague there. A huge force for Flash here, and Flash is in a really good position, doing a good contain on Jadong. Jadong's only at two bases, and as a Zerg, you never, never, ever, ever want to be on two bases against a Terran who's also at who's at more bases than you. That's just a really bad position. Trying to pick off, uh, pick up that bottom left base, but I think this might be a little bit too late. He's he's looking really sad, and I hate to see Jadong look like that because he is such a good player, and he has so much passion. But to see him so depressed like that, that's really bad. And he knows that this attack is futile. And Flash is probably most likely going to win uh, OSL, the Korean Season 2 OSL Finals and the last StarCraft OSL. And this is really depressing. I mean, I, I like Flash, especially because now I play Terran in SC2. But, you know, Jadong, Jadong has so much passion. He's been there so long. He's been at the top so long. And to go down to Flash, I mean... Really, no one could take him out. No one can take out Jadong other than Flash. And Bisu used to be able to. Bisu and him used to have a huge rivalry, but Bisu's a little bit downhill now. That ooh, that Defiler might get picked off. It'd be really bad. A Raid 8 going down on the Defiler. Oh, but really good play. And GG coming from Jadong. Wow. Jadong. Jadong. GG's. And Flash is your Season 2 Korean OSL winner in four games. Flash, the Terminator Terran, doing a really good job there. Just playing at the top of his game. And right now he's at the top of his game. And I know everyone says that, uh, you know, he's at the top of his game last year. Or, you know, back when he first came into the scene. But now I think he's at the very, very top of his game. And this is huge for him. He's just he's just really doing some great work out there, winning not only the MSL but the OSL as well, and Jadong only going in with WCG Korea, but uh, you know both of the players are really really skilled, really talented. It's a shame that Jadong I think Jadong's still on Lake Half uh, or Hwaseong Oz is maybe that's what they switched to I think, and. Uh, Flash also winning the Pro League, the Pro League Finals against SK21 and Bisu. So Flash just really doing really well this year, and I'm really happy for him. But th at the same time, I think it would have been cool to see Jadong win the last OSL. I've always been a fa fan of Jadong. My first game I ever saw was Jadong versus Bisu cast by Moltrap and Cholera, and that was a really good game. That was an ace match of some pro league. I don't know if it wasn't the finals. It was just like some some random game. But anyways, both players embracing each other. And uh, this is a really sad moment for me, to be completely honest. Just because, I mean, it seems like it seems like this. It seems like a, fin a finality or something. It seems like nothing will ever be the same after this. And I know that there's going to be more more tournaments. There's going to be more StarCraft. But this could very well be the death of Brood War and the rise of StarCraft II and the Wings of Liberty. At any rate, it was fun, guys. Uh, I'm going to continue casting as long as you guys want to watch my videos. Not many of you watch my videos, but yeah, I'll continue casting because I like doing it. But, uh, I mean, this could possibly be the last StarCraft game I cast. And I don't know how I feel about that. Anyways... The OSL Finals, done. Flash is your winner. Uh, until next time, guys. GG.